But let's get into it. Our social media, Son of Man 665 for the X officially. Uh, IG is at the Underground Broadcast. And uh, with the underscores and shit. And then it's uh, fucking uh, TikTok. We're not doing it anymore. It exists and shit. But if you want to, you can go ahead and do that or whatever. But we're not uploading anything anymore. I'm tired of getting banned all the time and shit. Fuck you. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways. Um, another thing uh, that I want to say is that uh, since we're no longer doing TikTok, we're going to stick on the YouTube. And we got one strike already. Uh, two more. And we're officially banned. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. God damn it. Anyways, let's keep going. We're going to start with the comments, motherfuckers. Here you go. First one right here is uh, David Letarte214. And he's got Wong and shit. Oh, bribe the world. Cheers, motherfucker. <laughs> From the Pumpkin Patch, po Patch Podcast. Uh, and exposing pedophiles across America. Chairs. On YouTube. And shit. And weirdos. Who fucking stream in the dark. With their makeup on. And, and their fucking bandanas. And, and, and braids. And shit. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of people. That's the kind of people this son of a bitch su uh, uh, supports. <laughs> Anyways. David Letarte. 214 uh, on the gun attack Snyder. He says, Trust me, bro. But for what? Hey, I I don't even know if are you really Wong? Benedict Wong? I mean, I don't know if I should trust you, David Latorte. Already? That's like the 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 shadiest Wong picture you could have put on your avatar and shit. All right, well, I mean, I don't know. Cheers, uh, David Latarte. Uh, I don't know if I should trust you, though. Cheers. Uh, all right, all right, let's see. Oh, Brime. Brime the world, Ted, uh, on, the, on, the, on the podcast video. He says, let's go. Thanks for the shout out. And again, thanks for coming on and taking us based as fuck. Oh, talking to us based as fuck. I can't wait till the next episode. GGS, my guy. I don't know what GGS means. Gays, ga gags on what? Gays, gags on schlongs. Gays, gag on schlongs, my guy. Okay. Uh, that's very interesting, Brian. The world. Cheers! Thank you, bros. <laughs> the fuck does JGGS mean, motherfuckers? You understand? You're talking to an old man here. To understand the new slang and shit. Uh, <laughs> good game, my guy. Good games. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. Cheers, uh, Brian. Thank you for commenting, motherfucker. Thank you for being here, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this motherfucker, uh, J Hart W. He says, hashtag son of man out of context. And I'll play it right now. And he says, great show, by the way. Here we go. This is me out of context that he wanted you all to see. She literally has a fan underneath her pussy trying to throw her, the, her pheromones at him. And this motherfucker's on his phone. It's all true. It's all true. You go back and you watch the whole thing. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Cheers, J-Hart W. Motherfucker. Alright. Oh, the con. Let me play this fucking intro for this motherfucker. You can feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slob ready, cause the cunt is here. 
The cunt, uh, before I read his comment, the cunt sent me this fucking shit about, like, that he's, this, he lives in Australia, and this is the kind of shit this motherfucker deals with every day. He woke up, he was gonna go outside, take out the trash, and there's a big fucking python snake ready to eat him. It's shit. So he grabbed a shovel and he killed it, <laughs> and he sent me the pictures, uh, of, <laughs> Of the dead snake, he gets a big motherfucker. It looks like he just ate. It looks like it was fat in the middle and shit. Uh, that's crazy, cunt. Y'all don't know the cunt is on uh this website called Public Tea or Tea Public. And he sells t-shirts from his designs, Lord B8. You see those shits? That fucking dragon's the shit. He also sells tarot cards. Uh, he's got a unique art style, and he sells this ass, and it's fucking cool as fuck. He actually did some of our shirts for the last podcast. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do for this broadcast, but I will think of something. And he also on this Ko-Fi as Lord VB, and he sells his comic books there, and they're trippy as fuck. They remind me of, like, I don't know, like, really grungy, Beavis and Butthead type of shit. It's crazy. And it's parodies, you know, he does parodies of shit. Like the Stoner Rangers instead of the Power Rangers. So it's pretty cool. Go ahead and watch that shit. Here's the snake he killed. But anyways, the cunt on the comments video says, God damn, Susan's goons definitely shadow banned you. That's probably why you haven't been getting my notifications. That ass Cardi B lets her beef curtains flap in the breeze and doesn't get banned. Hashtag woke pack for life. And Gomer replies to him. Uh, yeah, they're a bunch of cunts. Cheers at the cunt. Hey, cheers, you motherfuckers, and it's always... Live. Ah, uh, yeah, cheers, the cunt, you son of a bitch. <sighs> On the Son of Man is a Swifty video. Oh, uh, the cunt says... Taylor Swift ain't gonna do a comic book movie. She's too busy writing puberty music and psy opping the world with the CIA. They're probably gonna make the Swifties into an army and end the Israeli Palestinian war. Oh, cheers! <laughs> the a psyop. Man, I haven't gone that far in the rabbit hole to find, like, I know there's some shit about Taylor Swift and shit, uh, but I don't, I'm afraid to go that far in the rabbit hole. I'm like, I got to John F. K. Jr. and I started getting scared, and I said, all right, let's just start watching something else. <laughs> Anyways, all right, all right, enough with the going down the rabbit hole on YouTube and shit. Uh, a new guy. Derek Mejia? This guy is a Mexican. Or a Spaniard. That means a white Mexican. Anyways. Uh, he says... Clickbait! Oh, yeah! <laughs> and it fucking worked, you mark! Cheers! <laughs> it's working, fellas. I told you. If I put these elaborate fucking, like, you know, shit, like, oh, this fucking guy and shit, and they were like, oh, shit, and they click on it, and it's not even that. Oh, yeah, that's how you get them. And we got one. We got you, Derek Mejia. We got you. Son of a bitch. Thank you for the view. Congratulations. Welcome to the underground broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> We hope you subscribed. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, fellas, that tequila shot didn't hurt at all, and it hasn't hurt. I'm telling you, like, right? If I drink one sip of beer within the fucking two minutes, it's fucking painful. I don't even know how I drank one and a half last Friday. I regretted it the next day. I was fucking, that's why I didn't finish the other one. I was like, fuck, this sucks, but I kept doing the show. I don't feel shit with this. And I already feel buzzed, too. Cheers! <laughs> all right, all right. Let's keep going. Rocco, fuck my life. Let me hit it for the Satanist. Uh, where is it? Uh, 
where you at, you dick. Here it is. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco. Uh, he puts a lot of laughing emojis. And he says, this one make me laugh. Hashtag son of man out of context. Fuck you, Rocco. Anyways, this is what he put. Son of a bitch. Travis Scott in there. Fuck you, Rocco. Uh, that was me uh, celebrating uh, the dynasty that used to be Bad Boy Records. Now it's been tainted by tra sex trafficking, uh, uh, women abuse, and mo sexual molestations of both men and women. Uh, and, f and, and, and drug induced orgies. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's, let's keep going. That's just, God damn it. That's really bad. Fuck you, Rocco. You see what you've done? Son of a bitch. Uh, oh. David Latarte, uh, the Wong guy from earlier. He, he commented on the Nicki Minaj arrested on drug possession. He says, I grew up in the Netherlands. Oh shit, this guy's white. And while yes, there are plenty of drugs everywhere, no, you still cannot board a plane with them. Was she trying to get on the plane? I honestly don't even know. Um, and you know what? I still say, fuck you, you're over there. You should be able to drink and smoke wherever you are. You go to New Orleans, over here. You go and you buy a beer. Or a drink or some shit, you know, and then you just fucking uh, pop it open as soon as you walk out of the store. You can walk down the street drinking, getting drunk in the middle of the day, even if it's 10 in the morning. I'm telling you, it's legal. It's the way it should be everywhere. All right? There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody be happy. You have to pay attention when you're driving. You don't want to fuck someone up because they're drunk walking the street. But, you know, I'm just saying, you know, everyone follows the rules. It's perfect society. Cheers, David Latarte from the Netherlands. Oh, cheers! <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see who else. Oh, Anthony Timmons. Here we go. We're gonna read your shit, Timmons. He says, "Don't be too hard on them, son. They can't help it if they're a bunch of talentless pieces of shits. I mean, hacks." He's talking about the mummy prequel in in in, in the works that I, that I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, God damn it! I just hate when they take something that I grew up with because I just know they're gonna shit all over it. That's really what I hate about it, and that's the track record they've shown us. And because that's the people that are currently employed in these fucking studios and ass. So I mean, that's just a, you know what are you gonna do? What are you going to do? If you would employ everybody who didn't go to college and works on YouTube, those motherfuckers give you better shit than the motherfuckers who went to college because their fucking mom's dad's paid all their shit, but they never had a, a fucking a, a salt of grain of talent in their bodies. Sons of bitches. Privilege hacks. And that's why we get shitty ass right now, motherfuckers in Hollywood. Oh, I'm gay and I'm black. Oh, here you go. Come on in. You're vice president of the company. Cheers. That's what it is nowadays. Anyways. Hey, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're gonna get all crazy and shit, motherfuckers. You always bring the bad side out of me, you fucking guys. I hate the comments. Anyways. Uh, Doug Unfunny, this fucking guy. It's been a while. Let me hit it for this guy. Well, get fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he says... On the Suns, jealousy comes out because of the Tyson and 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 uh, Jake Paul fight. Hey, son of man, they canceled the fight. Hey, son of a bitch, that's the topic for tonight, motherfucker. Anyways, I feel bad for Tyson. Hopefully, they can do this someday. Paul, both of them need their asses beat. LOL. Cheers. Hashtag. Whoa. Oh, 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 o
Uh, fuck you. I'm not gonna give you my comments because this is the topic for tonight. You fucking dug on funny. You and Gomer, not y'all sons of bitches. Always trying to fucking steal the spotlight from the show. Talking about shit that we're gonna talk about later. Fuck you. Cheers. And it's always. Live. Cheers, motherfuckers. We love you. All right, let's see what else is going on. Oh, speaking of Gomer Kyle, uh, the underground broadcast reading comments says, "Glad you're reaching you folks, my brother. I will, I will say, pumpkin patch. That's what they call the people in jail in the orange." <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're a trustee. Anyways, cheers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. Woke. Oh, shit. Sorry. Live. <laughs> I like Kenny Omega. <laughs> cheers, Gomer. Son of a bitch. <laughs> We love you. Um. Oh, on the James Gunn throw shade at Snyder. Mr. Sinister Reviews. I don't know what his avatar is. It's like some crazy shit that I, I it's like Superman or Cyborg Superman or Bizarro or some ass. But he says, Snyder can be a hit or miss, but he gave us a phenomenal Justice League and set up. Um, uh, he's just not a good storyteller, man. He's a good visual fucking director and shit. And a hit and miss, yeah, because, well, Watchmen, he didn't write it. He just fucking did it frame by frame, which was, that's why it was badass Watchmen. Uh, but I'll give it up to him on 300. 300 was fucking badass. And, uh, and I liked it. Uh, but oh well. Uh, another guy, The Usurper. Holy shit. Uh, he said, Holy fuck, before I even read, I'm sorry, the usurper, but none other than the Philippines' very own Andrew Sanchez just showed up. We don't test any of our products on animals. We use Filipino children. Hey, Cheers, Sanchez! <laughs> and it's always... Yo, and guess what? Because you're here, I'm giving you a half. Right here, a Cuervo half shot. For you, Sanchez! All the way from the Philippines! Oh, chilling with us over here in America? That's crazy. Cheers, Sanchez. Woo. <laughs> well, yeah. Cheers. Friday night. <sighs> oh, okay. Sorry. I, I don't give a fuck. This is an OG Woke Pack member. Andrew Sanchez will interrupt the whole show for you OGers, motherfuckers. OGs are the motherfuckers that have the intros because they've been here the three years when the channel died. And we now we became the underground broadcast. Uh, what it used to be. If, you, if you're that curious, you could find old playlists on the main channel and, and you can find the old videos, but you have to scroll all, all, all way back. But this is, a four, this is year number four, technically year number one. For the underground broadcast. Cheers. Uh, but uh, the usurper. Oh. Replied. And he said about Zack Snyder. He said great casting. Horrible direction. Uh, that's another thing that he does. I like his casting. When he casts people for his movies. He does a good job on that shit. And the directing, like I said, he's a good visual guy. He just didn't know how to write a story. That's all, man. That's all I was saying. Gomer on the, the nitty, uh, gritty, gritty, diddy video. He says, 
Is this a jackass that called Trump a real bad guy? Go to hell? Did he? And take the other pervs with you on the way to meet Epstein again? Hashtag Trump 2024. Hashtag. Hey, Gomer, I don't know if I like you associating uh, hashtag Wolfpack for life next to all these other weird hashtags, but let me just read the next one. Hashtag release the Epstein flight logs. Are you trying to get our channel investigated by the fucking FBI, son of a bitch? <laughs> Cheers, Gomer! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking guy all right all right let's see what else it says hey gomer on the nicky with eyes arrested on drug possessions he says you know i normally don't fap to black girls but damn it i have to with nikki cheers oh yeah <laughs> i added that i had to uh, hey, Nikki's hot. I like her, man. You know, even if it's all plastic and, and all, like, fucking enhanced, you know, it's, uh, it's fucking nice. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It's well taken care of. Millions of dollars, all right? They, they tear, take care of that body. Not like me. I'm wasting away every day. Fuck. Pray for the son of man and his health. Anyways. Anthony Timmons. On the real reason no one goes to the theaters anymore. He says, theaters are way too expensive. And you're right, son. People do ruin the experience. People do ruin the experience. There was a fucking... Um... I don't even know what Marvel movie it was. All I know is that Tony Stark was on the screen. And he was saying fucking funny stuff. And I understand you think it's funny... But the lady next to me was screaming, laughing, like, ah, ha, ha, ha. and I was just like, come on, bro. Like, fuck you. I can't even hear what he's saying because you're screaming, laughing. Dumb bitch. Pisses me off. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's my biggest complaint is that there's just people there, man. There's just people there. Plain and simple. When I went to go see Spider-Man, No Way Home. I bought the, the seats in front of me and the seats beside me and the seats, uh, uh, no, because I was in the very back, but I, uh, pretty much everything around me, so there was no one around me. I was by myself. I bought all the tickets. I had money back then. Joe Biden, you fucked us. Anyways, keep going, Timmons. You're, you're bringing me back to bad memories. Um, oh, it's none other. Then Robo Iger, the yellowest motherfucker that's ever set foot on this fucking broadcast. Let me hit for this asshole. Konnichiwa. Oh, and Robo, I did something special for you. I said, you know what? This guy is a, a well. He, he's not the one of the original OGs, but he's he's still an OG. I said everybody's an OG from the past three years for sure. Um, but I, the originals, you know, the originals, the three originals, three pillars of this channel: Gomer, Indy, and Rocco. Gomer's always here. God bless you, Gomer. Um, but fucking Robo is an OG, and he's an Asian. Motherfucker, and I decided to do something special for you, Robo, for the first time, and probably from now on, if it's a hit. But we've been using AI a lot on this channel. Uh, God bless the artificial intelligence that will become our fucking ruler in the next five to six years. Uh, because without it, none of this could have been possible. But now, because of AI, we can finally hear what Robo, this Asian, uh, Floridan resident sounds like. So here we go. Here is Robo Igert reading his comments thanks to AI.
Man talk about the most truthful thing you have ever said on this channel. Actually, this may be the only truthful thing you've said on this channel. I tell the whole family to see Planet of the Apes this past weekend and spend nearly 200 American dollar on all of us. And then I took them out to dinner. Fuck my life. Cheer soon, old man. Keep up the good work. Hashtag Wolfpack for life. Yes! Oh my god, that was fucking badass. Cheers, Robo. Oh, I, I, I understood a lot of it. I understood a lot of it. That was badass. You know, that's authentic right there and shit. That's like as authentic as it can get. Cheers, Robo Haggard. Chinese motherfucker, let me know we got the accent right. I think it did a bit. I think it did a bit, pretty good job. The AI. Oh, cheers, Robo. We love you. I'm gonna hit your intro one more time, motherfucker. Konnichiwa. I'm over there representing with the authentic fucking uh, Chinese sounds. It's fucking badass. All right, let's move on to the next comment. Oh, Anthony Timmons. Uh, on the sun hates James Gunn simps. James Gunn is a douchebag. Screw that guy, son. Oh, James. <laughs> That's fucking badass. Thanks, Timbits. All right, let's see what else. Oh, shit. It's none other than Super Saiyan Joku. And the real reason no one is going to the theaters. He says, I would like to take this moment to say I'm not sorry for bringing my wild animals slash kids to the movies. I just like to have everyone as miserable as me. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> I just like <laughs> crying, screaming, fighting, bathroom breaks after I get back from it. He goes, I don't, and don't let me start about the wife nagging popcorn. Do the row shit. Oh, this guy. You're welcome. Ha ha ha. Cheers, my flowers. Hashtag. <laughs> Fucking troll, you motherfucker. You're the reason the theaters are dying and, and Hollywood is losing money, Joku, because you motherfuckers like you <laughs> and your wild families. <laughs> Jack! We love you. That's badass. <laughs> uh, Super Saiyan Joku on Diddy's Empire is over. He says, Take that key, please. And he's talking about the key to the city that they were gonna take to to Diddy. Take it back from him. Take that key, please. I hear movement in my house from time to time. Plus, I get blacked out drunk and wake up like a cat shit in my mouth. And I have no cat. Just let me know next time, son of man. Meow. <laughs> Hashtag no Diddy. Cheers, my flowers. Oh my god, you never know with Diddy, bro. He has the key to everyone in the city. That's dangerous to have that man with a key. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and that was the last comment. I'm just gonna say, man, the th those were fucking badass comments. Uh, cheers to y'all. Cheers, cheers on the real. Mm. Yeah, appreciate you guys. This is probably the most people that's ever been here for reading the comments. We haven't even started the fucking show, for fuck's sakes. What's going on? We're going viral. Fuck. Cheers! Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.